Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome back to Let's Play Ratchet and Clank for Sony PlayStation 2. In the last video, we did all of our expo exploration for Planet Orkson. We now have an info bot that will take us to somewhere else, and that somewhere else is Planet Pokitaru. We're heading to a little vacation resort for this episode. And if we can get through it, we can get ourselves an oxygen mask, among other things. Speaking of other things, I do want to get some stuff. I do want to get the last of the bolts that I need to buy the Visibomb with. That way I can get that for later. And once I am done with all that... I'm finally going to be able to buy the Visibomb when I go to Pokitaru. So let's go ahead and break all of these crates real quick. And we should have just enough bolts and change to get the Visibomb on the next planet. All right. Joe Y Resort, Pokotaru. Let's go ahead and go over there. We just need to check out the resort. There is one gold bolt and two skill points. We won't be getting any of that stuff yet for now. We're just worried about getting that O2 mask. So let me get a drink of tea real quick. And then... Hopefully... I'll have a less dry throat to talk with as we do things after we land. Now, when we finally make it to Pokotaru, there will be a Gadgetron vendor. And we have another thing that we can buy, the yeah, decoy glove. This suits that little decoys of ratchet that we can use to, of course, distract enemies. I won't be able to buy that yet because I'm too busy trying to get the Visibomb. How are we doing everything else here? We should be good on ammo for everything. Okay. Since I don't have the decoy gun... And we have Ratchet smiling at the Visibomb, which I had to buy instead. We will have to do things a little differently if we want to get to where we need to be. Hey, you two are the first friendly faces I've seen in weeks. You are friendly, aren't you? To you, yes. To him, no. Well, friends, have I got a deal for you. Since the Blarg <laughs> began dumping their toxic sludge into our ocean, the wildlife has, uh... Become ravenously bitten? Yeah, you could say that. All my customers either left or became lunch. <laughs> so I'm closing the place down. However, I just so happen to have one, count them one, O2 mask left. How much? It's not for sale. <laughs> but you said... I said I had a deal, and indeed I do. You boys get rid of those Blarg ships, and it's yours. Just escort me to the other end of this resort, and you can use our jet fighter. <laughs> jet fighter, eh? All right. But you better not try to stiff us. So, apparently this is not the vacation resort we expected it to be after all, because Chairman Drax's Blark ships are now polluting this planet as well. So now... We're going to have to deal with Ravenous Bloodthirsty Fish and whatnot. Just to get this guy from point A to point B. And also to make sure that we can even survive. Which is not going to be fun. These fish are probably going to be the most common enemy that you're going to see. 
these little pink things will shoot out energy waves if you get close to, too close to them, and it will hurt when they do. And when you get on one of these ships, you better be prepared to fight. Now, before we go over there, we're supposed to go over to here with the ship that the guy is going to commandeer. However, you probably won't notice this until you use everything here at least once, but... There are some crates here, and there is a sand mouse house that you can use here. I'm going to go ahead and utilize the sand mouse house, so that way I have a little extra firepower when I'm on these ships. They will help. Also, I want to equip the Pyrocitor, too. Now, what I want to do is stand right here at the edge of the ship. And if any enemies get too close, they're getting zapped. Either by the Pyrocitor or by the Sand Mouse. And we can no longer utilize the Sand Mouse. So, it's up to me to use the Pyrocitor the rest of the way. You're better off holding L1 and using the Pi roster in the first person mode. It's the only way you're going to be able to ensure that you can center all of your firepower on these things. There we go. And I'm going to break this nanotech crate just to ensure that I can get it if I need it. And now I need to shoot down all of these fish with the blaster. If I know what I'm doing, I should be able to hit all these fish multiple times. Alright, that's good enough. Okay. Not what I wanted to do. And can I use the Mind Glove on this? I guess not. Let's go ahead and do this instead to break these. And then aim these. Right here, so that way I can get everything that I need to get. It'd be nice if I can get some Pyrocitor ammo, but I don't see myself doing that. So, what I'm going to do is just go ahead, try to conserve the Pyrocitor for when I really need it, and then fight everything with what I can the rest of the way. And we have an area where we can use the metal detector. I do want to get rid of all the enemies that are around here, though, before I do that. That would be a good thing to do. And I'm at to juggle him in the air. Which is excellent. And, hey. Might as well go ahead and do the airstrike there to do double damage. And let's see here. Well, that'll get me 25 blaster ammo. Go ahead and get these guys jumping at me. Hopefully I can kind of keep the... There we go. I want to keep the... Keep as many enemies in front of me as I can. I don't want any enemies sneaking up on the side here. In case something goes wrong... And I think I should be able to deal with the last of them. So he's going to go over to the ship there and wait for us. And this will be a fine time to use the metal detector. 
I do want to get all the guns in the game. All right. Want to make sure that I can get everything. Okay, we're doing pretty good at getting all the bolts around here so far. Should be able to get everything that we need as far as bolts go near the edge. And that is the last of the bolts. Excellent. Let us go ahead equip the pyrocitor and then stand at the back of the ship here and be ready for any of those spiky little fish that will come at us there won't be as many here but they will still be as much of a pain as they've been throughout the level regardless Trust me, you're better off doing this in first-person mode. Otherwise, you're going to be losing a ton of health doing this. And that is the second and last ship section where you're shooting down a bunch of spiky fish. Glad we don't have to do that anymore for the rest of Pokitaru. Especially when, if you don't know what you're doing, the checkpoints can be pretty unforgiving for the most part and I may have to use my wrench here yeah that was a little too close for my tastes and here I'm going to go ahead and use the glove of doom this will help me blow up a bunch of fish which is something that I would definitely want to do thankfully one droid from the from the glow from the glove of doom will be enough to blow these guys up and of course I better be ready for even more of those guys once I activate that bridge but first let's go ahead and get some more bolts here all right once we stand on this thing we're gonna trigger the bridge we're gonna get open this up I like how this works by the way all right glove of doom time again let's go ahead and leap so that way it, that lands over there and that got rid of all but you thankfully I can juggle these around And, oh, that was neat. I can get rid of a few more. Now, if I were to knock me okay. None of these guys are trapped here. Mind Glove will do it. And cutscene time. We're here. Now, where's that fight? Right there in that locked garage. One source crashes the jet, and wham, <laughs> lawsuit. That lock is unlike any I have seen. Very astute observation, Mr. Shiny. I can't open it either. I don't trust the tourists, and the board of directors don't trust me. <laughs> so we have a little problem. We have a little problem? I just want the O2 mask. So if you can't open up the lock, that's your problem. Now cough up the mask. Well, I can see that you really wanted to fly our jet. So I'll tell you what. <laughs> Go talk to Bob at his robo-chat. He knows about these locks. No need to use the special features of the Gadgetron Special Pack to activate this switch. You can find one at Bob's Robo Shack just around the corner. And we might as well go ahead and go over there. Well, well, what have we got here? Hey, watch it. I recognize that work. Y'all from Seattle, ain't you? Yeah, we installed the helipad. 
I can see that. I taught that idiot brother of mine everything he knows. Look, if you want some real hardware, I can fix this little feller up with a thruster pack. Ooh. Will it help us get past that weird lock by the fighter garage? Ah, you know about those gizmos, huh? Well, it sure as heck will. It's got a real special power slam move built right in. It's a good thing I need this to get to that jet or you'd be out of luck, pal. 2,000 bulls for the thruster pack. Small price to pay, but we will definitely pay it. I've got it. I'll have you fixed up faster than a horny toad of hopping. <laughs> well, there you are, little butter. Butter and new. That's right. I am the man. <sighs> yeah, it's not bad. And we now have the thruster pack upgrade, which we can up... We, we can switch between the helipack and the thruster pack in the gadgets menu. You still have the same crash jump. And you have a hover. And you can hover after a double jump. Though it does work a little differently. It feels a little different compared to the helipack. Let's go ahead and break these. And to do that... To break this lock, we need to jump into the air and press R1. This will unlock the fighter jet. We're not done yet, though. Because when we fly the jet plane... So, hold down X to go faster... Fire the machine guns with square. And fire the missiles with circle. You can also press L1 to use the machine guns and R1 to fire the missiles if you want to do it that way. Now we need to shoot down these little centipede things. If we do that, we'll be able to take out the Blarg jets. And are you kidding me? Well, as you're doing this, you will have these, all these sh ships firing at you. And when you shoot them down, you can get one of two things. You can get either a crate with a red cross on it signifying a medipack. Or you can get a gadgetron crate with a G on it signifying more missiles for your missile launcher. The missile launcher is a far better way of destroying the Blarg ships. Though you can use the machine gun if you wish. Machine gun works really well if you can somehow get behind these things. Or in front of them. And stay that way for a good while. Like so. These enemy ships will fire at you as you go after the main Blarg ships though. So you do want to be careful. Thankfully, as long as you're paying attention, you can easily shoot them down. And you don't really have to worry about your shield all that much. You do have a shield. It's alongside the map in the lower right-hand corner. Your missile ammunition is in the upper left. And what do you know? That's two ships down already. Now, to take out the third one. Thankfully, the map here works more like the one with the turret. That little wedge shape there at the very top, the one that's a little darker than all the others, that is where everything that is currently in front of you will be on the map. So just use the map, turn when you need to, you should be able to do this. And we have one more ship to go, and mission completed. We did it. Well, I guess that should do it. <laughs> Here you go. It's about time. And we have received the O2 mask. The O2 mask will allow us to breathe underwater. Of course. We are definitely going to need it. Also, I will definitely need bolts in order to... Well... 
get the decoy glove, as well as any other weapons that I would like to get my hands on. But I will have to work to get those bolts. And it will take quite a few bolts. 7,500 in fact. Not as much as, say, the Visibomb that I just got. But still plenty of bolts nonetheless. And I can't really do anything of worth here. So, now that we have everything taken care of here, do we have another place that we can go to? No, we do not. We are still going to have to check out more of the resort. We will have to do some more exploration. But that is going to have the wait until the next video. Let's go. Okay, all right. It's already saved. Join me next time where we explore more of Pokotaru. Hopefully find another info bot. And maybe, just maybe, we can find some things. Until then, this is Prince Watercrest. Take care. Stay safe. And thanks for watching!